right guys i'm back uh happy holidays it's 2023 2022 is over i had a great time uh visiting family unfortunately due to some weather i had to cut and not visit some of my friends but we talked online and it's all good better safe than sorry while I was out visiting family, I actually got to cook the holiday turkey and all the trimmings for uh, my boyfriend's family. It was my first big holiday with his side of the family. And last minute, we were driving out to their house. Uh, they live out on the East Coast. We got a call saying, can you cook the turkey? Uh, sure, sure. It's, it's only been about 10 years since I've cooked a turkey. The last time I cooked a turkey, I used to do them on the rotisserie on a barbecue, self-basting. Mmm, so juicy, so good. Uh, they had an electric roaster, so I've borrowed one. They had one just like this. It's a Revell roaster oven rotisserie. Um self-basting electric oven so this way your oven is free for your pies and your casseroles and everything else uh, i have under here a 17 pound turkey it's all nice and thawed and just drying it off the last little bit because what we're gonna do for the next 24 hours or so I'm gonna put a dry rub on it this turned out so good while I was out east so I came home and I'm like I have to do it again so I don't have paper towels I've got tons of these little cloths we use them instead of paper towel and we just throw them in with some bleach and get them all sanitized again. So I don't like all the waste of paper towels. All right, so my bird is nice and dry. Put that up there. And I'm gonna dry brine it. Um, I've done a water brine, uh, like an apple juice brine before but we are gonna dry brine it. I've got some poultry smoked apple wood spice. I used, this is um, freeze dried wild mushrooms. A little bit of roasted garlic and beer spice to get that nice holiday um, seasoning, a little bit of pumpkin pie seasoning for that nutmeg, that cinnamon, that ginger, and my trick for a good dry spice, dry rub, for if you want the, the turkey skin to be nice and crispy, baking powder, regular baking powder. It helps dry out the skin so you get that nice crispy skin. So that's all mixed in here. So what we're gonna do is just gonna rub it all over. Of course, before I started, my hands are freshly washed. You wanna get all nice and all over. into all the cracks and crevices all over that wing mm. so so good it's a nice apple smoky the last little bit 
pop into the butt underneath there yeah there we go so i'm gonna put this back in the fridge overnight um you want a minimum of 12 hours on this for this dry rub 24 hours would be better so it's just barely thawed it's still kind of cold in the center and then tomorrow before we put it in the roaster i'm going to take some butter with the same spices minus the baking powder these same uh, applewood smoked the mushrooms wild mushrooms it's like chanterelles and morels and oyster mustard mushrooms gnocchi mushrooms very good uh the roasted garlic beer and the pie spice and we're gonna butter between the skin and the meat so we'll be back here tomorrow and we'll do the next step all right guys i'm back it's actually been two days we got doing some running around yesterday uh i didn't get around to <laughs> uh getting back to this and it was just going to be too late so decided to let it marinate and with this dry rub for 48 hours instead of 24 hours which is totally fine uh 12 to 24 is kind of the the, uh, the minimum, uh, 48 I heard is actually better. Uh, you can even go three days. So it's been sitting in the fridge. Actually, it's been sitting in my car. Uh, not enough room in the fridge. And it is just hovering around zero. So it's nice and cool in my in my vehicle. So that's where our bird has been. I've got nice clean hands. I'm just going to take my watch off. So nice clean hands. And the next step that we're going to do to make this turkey oh so juicy. I have half a stick of butter. And then in this little bowl and it's mixed with all the same spices minus the baking soda. So I've got my pumpkin pie spice, my smoldering smoked applewood poultry seasoning, um, roasted garlic and beer se poultry seasoning, uh, wild mushrooms that uh, we've ground up into near powder but not quite and all in this butter so the next step gets a little messy so turn our turkey around so i've got good access to the back end here where i can lift up the skin and take some butter oh before i do that before we take the butter Stick your fingers between the skin and the meat. You just want to loosen the skin. Just pull the skin away from the meat. All the way in there. Because this is where we're going to put the butter. He said this is going to get messy, but it's worth it. All right, so now we have our skin loosened up. Actually, we'll make sure it's loosened up on this end too.
There we go. Okay, now that we have our skin all loosened up, take a nice handful of that butter and just place it underneath that skin. Even back on the legs. Try and keep it higher to the top because as it melts, it's just going to melt under that skin and just be oh so good. You can help move it on the outside. But just keep stuffing it. All right, so it's now totally stuffed. My hands are ooey gooey. I'm gonna just wash my. I've got a bowl of water, nice warm soapy water. Move this off to the side. So, see, with doing that, a little bit of our seasoning has been uh, disrupted. So I'm just going to add just a little bit more of it all. So the adding the, the pie spice gives it that really Christmassy holiday aroma, that sweetness, that that memory spice, right? And some more onion, or sorry, not onion, mushroom. So the next step. The next step is to move this turkey into our um, roasting oven. This is a self-basting Revell rotisserie oven. It doesn't really, it doesn't rotisserie like, you know, you think of where it actually rotates it, but it's self-basting. In the bottom, I've got some carrots, onions, and potatoes can see here somewhere uh, where I did a bunch of prep. I just cut up roughly chopped, peeled and chopped, peeled and chopped the carrots, uh, chopped the onion and chopped the potato. Rough chop, nice, nice thick, but not too big. Put a little bit on the bottom. I kind of got a bit carried away. So there's lots there. Uh, before I move it in, I'm going to take an onion. I've just kind of scored it down and chopped it down the center, but not totally. We're putting that in the butt. It will kind of steam in there and help make this turkey oh so juicy, adding some flavors. And we'll put some in the neck as well. So next is to move it into this roasting pan. Oh, it's a big boy. He's 17 pounds. There. That off to the side. And I've got extra of the vegetables. I'm just gonna fill around the outside edges. Bring that up. All right. Love these bowls for how compact they get. We've got our bird set. And we plug it in. going to 
turn it on to the very, 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 very max for the first half hour, 45 minutes. Um, <laughs> my bird's a little big for this, but that's okay. Um, yeah, so for the first half hour, 45 minutes, max, as high as it can go. This is a trick to get that nice colored, crispy, caramel colored brown skin. So all the way to the max. And then after that half hour, 45 minutes, we're going to tone it back down to about three hour or 300 or 150. And then uh, go from there for the rest of it. This bird should take, oh, four hours or so, something like that, because it's, uh, like I said, he's a big boy. However, I find in electric roasting pans, they cook really, really fast. So four hours might be a little much. We will get out our thermometer. Um, but yeah, so the max here is 450 degrees Fahrenheit. Like I said, for first half hour, 45 minutes, and then we'll tone it back down and go from there. I'm back. I forgot one thing. It's only been a few minutes as I was tidying up another little kind of secret ingredient of mine, apple juice. I usually use apple cider. I couldn't find any, so I just have some regular Allen's apple juice. This does say in the instructions for the roasting pan, it does say you don't need to add any liquid to the bottom, but I like to add some apple juice or apple cider. I don't know, about a cup or so. If you haven't noticed, I, I don't measure. So, just enough I can tell I can see that there's a good little amount so my veggies are not going to stick so much to the bottom. And uh, this will also help with our amazing gravy that we're going to make with the end, with the drippings and everything left as well as a turkey stew. We'll be back for those. Okay, so it's been about half hour, 45 minutes. We're gonna take a peek and then turn down the, uh, the temperature. Mm. This smells so good. My house is so fragrant. So we've turned it down to 300. We've already got some some browning of the skin going. Some of the the veggies are browning a little bit too. So let's put this lid back on. And because, like we said, this is kind of a big boy, probably would have been better if I didn't have so many vegetables underneath. But uh, the, the lid's not going down all the way. And as you can see, it's hitting the lid. So I'm going to make just a little bit of a rim. Let's see. The other side. This is going to hold the uh, lid up a little bit. Hopefully.
see. Yeah, so now the lid is not touching the bird, but we have a lot of gaping holes, so I'm going to wrap some tin foil. around just like that it does have some vent holes in the lid oh that's hot 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 all right so now we're gonna leave this for about three, four hours, and we'll be back. Mm. I I just can't can't describe how good my house smells right now. It is amazing. So, like we said, it's back down to three hundred, and it's a self basting electric rotis, uh, roaster, so it's gonna do its thing. Hi guys, it's been just over two hours. Our bird is done. Um, I have a probe in the thigh and it's 172. Um, about 10 minutes ago, it was at 163, so my bird is done. Uh, proper internal temperature for a turkey is 165 in the thigh um anything lower than that not quite safe we're good to go we're above 165 oh look at that bird mm, if you guys could only smell it so after your turkey is done, the next thing you want to do is you want to take it out of the roaster. I couldn't find my oven mitts, so I've got some gloves here. We're going to lift up the bird, take off some of those extra vegetables, and voila. Mm, it's got a nice golden brown skin on it. Mmm, that smells so good. So the next thing we do, minimum half an hour. I know it's hard, but minimum 30 minutes to let it sit and rest. Let those juices reabsorb into the meat. So I'm just going to cover it with a little bit of aluminum foil here. And we'll be back for that. Then I have got all these roasted vegetables. I've been roasting in the juices. Mm. And these are just perfectly fork tender, so flavorful. You've got your side, you know, your potato and carrots, vegetables all together, ready to go as well with that perfect roasted flavor. So if this was... Christmas Day, Thanksgiving Day, Easter, any other holiday where I'd be feeding some people, you know, today, day of. I'd scoop out all these vegetables, you know, cl closer to dinner time. Or I'd scoop out as much of the vegetables as I could. We're letting the turkey rest. And then I'd make gravy with all these drippings but seeing how 
it's not um, it's not the holiday today. I don't have anybody coming over for dinner. Actually, I need to get going because I'm going out with some friends. So this is perfect to do. Even if you have a very busy holiday day, you can do this the day before. So we're going to let this rest. And we're going to let this cool down and rest. And we'll be back to slice up the turkey. And then I'll show you how we can make some gravy. And other things you can do with the drippings as to why I add so much liquid and get all that flavor in this giant roasting pan. Okay, I'm back. We've let this turkey uh, rest for a couple of hours. I uh, went out and had dinner with a girlfriend. So it's barely warm, but ready to cut. So let's just... Give a little slice here. And look how juicy that is. As I cut, you can just almost see the juices coming out of it. Perfectly cooked. Mmm. So moist. So that's the turkey. This is great and so, so moist. Like I said, you can make it the day before. Slice it all nice up. Uh, reheat it in, in a warm oven and have it ready to go for your Christmas dinner holiday dinner, whatever, um, whatever holiday that might be. Having it so moist like this and able to do it the day before frees you up for other activities throughout the day or cooking all the rest of your meal or even just having more time to spend with your friends and family that you have uh, over. So I'm going to keep... Uh, slicing this up and we'll be back in another video I'll show you how I make my gravy and how I do what to do with the leftover carcass of this turkey because even once we've taken as much meat off this as we want there is still so much more left to do um, so much more resources within these bones that the actual turkey is and meat is not all it has to give. So I'll see you for that because why not?